on behalf of my brother and sister veterans and those who support them today. My name is Travis McVeigh. I'm the author of Heroes of the Stage, Country Serving Country, a book about all the great country music artists that served in the military. I'm also the founder of Heroes Box and the official spirit of the Grateful Nation. <laughs> Heroes is the first veteran-owned spirit company in the world to be certified by the National Veteran-Owned Business Association of Nova and the Bi Veteran Movement. I'm also a United States Marine Corps veteran. I serve as the presidential honor guard for the 41st president of the United States. Now I'd like to share a very personal story with each of you today. Two of my closest friends with whom I served in Marine Barracks in D.C. did the ultimate sacrifice for our nation. These were men with whom I served and trained. The three of us would go home to Indiana on our 48 hour leaves as Tommy, one of my other friends, was too far from his home to Phoenix, Arizona. We'd all ride in the Tommy's little pickup truck and listen to country music and swap stories. As we all know, there's a bond among veterans that serve together that lasts a lifetime. These are our brothers and our sisters. My friend Richard Gaston became the Indiana State Trooper after his service as a Marine. He was killed in the line of duty a few years back. My other friend Tommy became a Phoenix police officer and started a family. He later re-enlisted in the National Guard and served with honor in Iraq and was killed in action in Afghanistan. They paid the ultimate price and are true heroes to me. Never was so much owed by so many and so few. As I began to reflect on my two dear friends, I experienced every emotion you can imagine. Sadness and grief, anger and rage, laughter and joy. But in the end, I could not help but become inspired. Inspired to do something more than just remember. Inspired to do something more than just reflect. Inspired to do something real that would honor their memories by giving back to all who served. This inspired me to found a veteran business that truly gives back. A business that was not just a short term gimmick or an ad party campaign that requires you to send in receipts, a bottle cap, or a rebate. Rather, a true and lasting partnership where the business gives back over 25% of our company profits to veterans and other service organizations every Veterans Day, year after year, for the life of the company. This became my mission and my purpose. I was sitting at my local VFW post 1291 close to Nashville, Tennessee, with some of my friends and family around Memorial Day a few years back. And the first product I thought of was Heroes Boxing. I thought, why not? Why is there not a better known spirit? Why is there not a brand whose purpose is to give back? I decided then and there to do whatever it took to make my dream a reality. Now, a lot of people said I had no experience in the spirits business, and it couldn't be done, so there's no way. I mean, after all, I had spent 15 years as a tire builder at the local Tennessee Firestone Tire Plant. What did I know about starting a company, raising money, or the liquor business at all? The answer was absolutely nothing. What I did have, though, you can't buy probably from my mom and dad, but also from the Marine Corps. I possess that deep down determination to make a difference. And as you all can appreciate being a Marine, I was trained, you can't tell a Marine you can't do something or you'll die trying. So I set on my, mission, on my mission. I spent two years researching, networking, and developing my plan. I talked to anyone who would listen about what I wanted to do. Eventually, I ended up at the office of Robert Whitman, the owner of one of the oldest and most respected liquor distributors in America. Mr. Lippin opened our conversation by saying, Then I have a hundred different vodka brands out of my warehouse, but since you're a veteran, I'm going to give you 15 minutes. I came prepared. In a few short minutes, I could see he really understood the vision and the passion I had for my dream of giving back to veterans. He asked me what experience I had in the industry, and I told him, Not really that much, but I was a Marine and I was determined to do something to give back. Now, when I went back to see him for the second time, he told me about why he wanted to help. He said it was my passion and mission to give back that really touched me. He went on to say my grandfather, Harry Whitman, who founded my company in 1939, came to this country on a boat as an immigrant, he came back a second time on a boat as a U.S. soldier returning from World War I as a United States citizen. Harry Whitman founded the Whitman Brothers after serving. He also told me in 1939, a man by the name of Pat Motlow, who was a friend of his grandfather had this idea of a Tennessee whiskey company. He needed $35,000 I mean, to make his dream a reality. Harry Lippin believed in that, but he saw his passion and his determination. Now we all know how the brand Jack Daniels was born. 
same family that invested in the belief in Jack Daniels also believed in my vision and my passion to give back. Never was so much owed by so many to so few. And nearly two years after finding the right partner to back my dream on Veterans Day, 11 11 11, the very first bottles of Heroes Vodka rolled out the bottling line of the famous Buffalo Trace in Franklin, Kentucky. Today you can find heroes and fine establishments in 10 states, and by the summer we expect to be in 20 states. We are still in the early days for the building this brand, but we have great expectations for it. Please let me know if you have any ideas on how you can help and how we can help. If we get as big as some of these other brands out there like Sky and the others, we can give back two to three, almost five million dollars year after year after year. And I'm very pleased last, that last week we announced our partnership with AMBED, our official give back partner. It's a true honor and a dream come true to be here with you. Having a national veterans organization such as AMBED that really gets to understand the needs of our veterans is aligned with my company's mission. AMBED is at the forefront of relating with our newest generation of warriors that have been a part of the longest wars in our nation's history. For the 99% of you who watched the 1% serve our country and now return, for those of us who have lived our lives in freedom, property, and business, and grown family and relative comfort, how do we show our gratitude? For some of our country, alcohol is a controversial subject for our veterans. Let me address that issue here and now. An important part of our mission and vision to why I created an alcohol brand is to provide a platform, a platform and a true opportunity to teach responsibility. Alcohol is part of our society and is a part of many veterans' lives. No one is going to change that. However, teaching responsibility while drinking is something that can make a big difference. Heroes Bach is committed to this in everything we do. They're going around and speaking and talking about it. And our, talk, our tagline at the end of all marketing is be a hero, enjoy responsibly. We're excited to play our part in helping to fund many more veterans programs like the MVAC Virtual Career Centers, funding for case officers in each state to ensure our veterans get the care they deserve, and the countless many other ways the MVAC helps our veterans and their communities. As I look out around the room, I see my extended family. Those of us united in that special bond that all service can bring to those who stand with us. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to do all we can as veterans and citizens to help raise money and awareness for our veterans. Our elected leaders on both sides of the aisle have been building us for too long this promise that is made to those who have won the uniform of the United States of America. I urge each of you to support veteran-owned businesses when you can find and when you can, if you own a business, I urge you to give back as much as possible. There are over 3 million veteran-owned businesses out there today and growing. Harry Truman said, a nation that forgets its heroes will soon itself be forgotten. Many of us sometimes forget that the word nation really is referring to the people. And we are the people. We must ensure our heroes aren't forgotten. Never was so much hope by so many to so few. I was going to do a toast this morning, but it's a little early to do that. <laughs> but uh, I'll admit, yes. But let us remember all those brave men and women who have made the hope of the sacrifice to our nation. Let us remember all those men and women who have served our nation. Let us not drink to forget, but to remember. Let us remember their honor, their courage, and their commitment. Let us remember their sacrifice and the bond we share as veterans and veterans citizens of this great country. Thank you for your time and attention. May God be with you and those in harm's way. May God bless the United States of America and the government.